change the scenery. Um, that's exciting. So the key to everything in art, if you're trying to render something realistically, is perspective, um, which is exciting. And not just me doing more brickwork, because that's what I'm going to do is more brickwork. Because <laughs> there's a lot of bricks to do. These, oh, beautiful. You remember the last video? Oh, the times we had. We laughed, we cried. It's like a 70s, like the 70s. Forget a 70s anything. You don't have to qualify that. It was amazing. Um, so perspective is a pain. I mentioned this earlier, how I angled it down, which ugh, only a bad call in that it's, it's tricky to make it look deliberate as opposed to like you just don't understand. Um, we've got two point perspective going here. There's a vanishing point going back into infinity somewhere over by Force Awakens, maybe just past, could be nah, maybe behind the sixth sense there. It's hard to tell. Um, back there. The other way, coming this way, it's actually probably back over here where you can't see it. Uh, neither can I. It's back over there. Probably by Buffy the Vampire Slayer. No, Monty Python, definitely. It's over there. It doesn't really matter. Um, Although, there will be a test later. Um, so, what we've got going here is deliberately skewing that and trying to live with it, coexist. Uh, this, we're just going to try to keep it all nice and peaceful. If you look at that, this looks lovely. This looks lovely to the end. So, you got to fix that. So, it's a straight line. It's hitting a straight line. And that's when, uh, that's when, that's when, you, get, that's when you get real. It's like it's real, man. It's just, it's real. So you got to fix it as you go. If you've got to this point, you've done the detailed underdrawing. You spent your time. You definitely pulled out a ruler because you're certainly not just freehanding this stuff. Oh, no. Totally freehanding it. No one pulls out a ruler. You're an artist. The designers get the rulers. The artists, we just get brushes which are straight enough. You can actually use that. It works really well. The whole thumb thing you see people using, that's just scale. You can use the end of your brush. It works way better. When you're life drawing, like, oh, yes, the person's head is as big as the barcode on my paintbrush. Uh, there we go. And then you barcode it there. You go, there you go. His nose is up to the number five, the barcode. This gentleman's nose is probably worth about four and a half dollars. Um... Yeah, just brick-ish color. It doesn't matter. What we specifically got here, it's a little bit yellower than that. Kind of an almost an orange. Trying to trying to drag that around. It's a gray brick. But maybe a little bit more colorful because color is kind of my jam. And this color palette. Color palette of the painting? is getting distinctly grayish, which is, which is a bit dull. This is a bit gray, but it's coming out a nicer orangey thing. If you want to mix this, um, if you want to Bob Ross this up, and you should. Um, same horrible palette from last time. What colors do we have here? Oh, burnt umber. Mm -hmm. uh, ochre, yellow ochre, obviously. Rose red. Loved by people the world over. Naples yellow, standard for all artists, because I said so. Thalo blue. Um, just just ignore everything over there. Just ignore the whole palette. It's just a disaster. If you want to paint along, feel free to dab those out. Um, I'll just wait for you. Don't even pause the video. Don't pause it. I'll wait. Do you have to go to the store? Okay, well, we'll just keep going then. Maybe just trace along with a pencil or something for now. Go get the paints later. Watch the video again. I don't think YouTube's going to take it down for a while. I didn't put any music in, so these should be okay. So we're just going to fix this by obliterating. The magic of painting is you can just paint over. And it's acrylic, so you do just paint over. Kind of wiping out the windows, mostly because I resent them a little at this point. They'll be back. They're fine. They're windows. Um, they'll be okay. Maybe brighten it a little. It's a little dark. Brightening with Naples yellow. 
and Bob Ross this up for you. A little bit of Naples yellow there. It's a happy little wall. It's a little bit plastered. Uh, this could actually be plastered. Um, not drunk plastered, like plaster. Because we've got brick, so you mix it up. Maybe make this plaster, maybe make that brick work, stone work. Carry that up. Um, see what happens with that. Um, purple. Is it, oh god, way too much red. Always hold your brushes in your mouth. That's what they teach you in art school. If you don't have paint within 10 centimeters of your mouth at all times, you are failing as an artist. Normally, I get way too much blue, screws it up. Um, so I went the other way this time, too much red. Balances it up. Always brush the paint on your hand. Don't use the rag that's right there. You have your wigs well. Um, because it's too distinct. If you hit it with some Naples yellow, look at that, it's all gone. Problem solved. And perspective, more or less correct. If we can keep that line going straight back, it'll be great. Over here, it'll all match up. Like space magic. Wash your brushes. I'm trying to emphasize the lack of a highlight or lack of a shadow. It's not very dark. By putting Naples yellow right underneath it, that gives you contrast. Contrast is life. We'll put some black in there later. It's fine. I'll teach you how to mix black. I told you how to do it in the last video, but if you didn't watch it, you wouldn't know that. If you don't want to watch right to the end, it's stable blue and burnt umber. Don't try to mix cobalt and burnt umber. Sorry. Yeah, cobalt, burnt umber. Don't do that. It doesn't work. Cobalt doesn't work for anything. Nobody likes it. Oh, not even John Cobalt, the guy who discovered it. Um, yeah, died in a gutter. It's tragic. Tragic life because he found cobalt blue. It was horrible. Sad. Makes you think, though. Makes you think. So this um, perspective, there's a, there's a line there. I wiped it out. Painting in these delightful rocks, which are, I don't know, they're a weird shape. I like it, but they're not quite weird enough. I'll have to work on that, too, maybe. But as you can see, there's a line here, and then it wipes out, and then it comes down. And I wanted to have that in, so, so the building is set onto these larger stones. So the problem then becomes, what do you do? Do you repaint these to fix that do you bring this in but then you've got to repaint that bit of ocean there you've already done that you don't want to so it depends what you want to do you can either fix that or you could do a wacky thing where the building kind of comes in there that actually i think is going to be option b for what byron did um i would recommend one of the other options but i mean we're here anyway so Let's go with a red thing. Red-ish thing? red -y thing? I don't know. A little bit of red. Lots of blue. Blue's getting carried away, but not enough. Put some yellow in there. Everybody loves orange. They say they don't, but if you keep pestering them, they'll say, fine, I like orange. It's really the same color. No, it's just darker. Not what it's going for. That happens, but if it works, it works. Let's just do this. Let the building come in. So these will be like the luxury apartments, and maybe over here, I don't know, it's like for people who are. Maybe this is the artist's apartments. Things jut out oddly. I'd say low rent apartments, but. This is for this is for people who are definitely spending a lot of their time thinking about things that are a bit off the hook. There we go. That kind of comes together. Get your get more Naples yellow in. That's what'll do it. So just have the whole building jog out. Maybe jut out. Maybe it should jut out further. 
right into the ocean. Why not? Make it deliberate. And then you'll fix that with shaving later. You will, I'm not doing it, you do it. Mix up enough color, I'm bad at that. I ain't good enough, I have to remix it. You can never get the color the same. Comes close, it's not quite the same. Obviously I didn't put the Naples yellow back in, so we're not winning there, but just generally. Pulls yellow to the rescue, makes it a little bit pinker. Obviously, I'm going for brickwork on this one again. Another exciting thing you can do. Move things across. You got brick there, you put brick there, you put some brick back there. It moves the eye around. It's very, it's very good for a composition. You can just use color to do that. You don't even need to have a subject matter. You don't have to spend the time designing strange apartment buildings in the middle of the ocean. We don't have Atlantic. Definitely feels like an Atlantis thing. Call this like the Atlantis complex. Maybe there's some sort of pun. There are a lot of waves. I mean, could get wiped out at any time. Giant waves. Although I should have made it a circle. Atlantis was supposed to be circular. So, purple, always purple. Purple, purple. Not enough blue in the purple. It's definitely a red day. Feels like it. You can feel the red. You can see outside. It's very blue, but that's because it's the red. It's the red day in the blue. That's what it is. This bit where the lip is, don't forget it. It'll look weird. Fancy little maneuver if you are using acrylic. Wet your brush, dry your brush. Easy blend. You don't want too much water, it peels everything. Destroys families, changes lives, maybe for the better. Not in my experience, so. Exciting bit purple and yellow, complementary colors. It's not as good as it sounds, though. They look good together, but they also fight each other a lot. So don't get it, don't get your purples and yellows too. Purple and yellow the right shade or you're going to have to work at it harder they look good but they look bad Just something about it again you can highlight that Really wish I was doing the windows as I was doing this because the white throws it off. You can't see exactly how the color is going. I really like that. It's a good jet. I like that. That was perfect. Um, it's exactly what exactly what I needed. Um, yeah, you can't quite get the color relationships there because you've got huge chunks of white all over the place. That throws everything. Some black, I already told you how to mix that. Just lay a little blue, burned umber. Put your cobalt away, put your cobalt away. This is not the painting for you. It's 
so it's very dark. Let me wrap those bricks around very well. Oh, remember we talked about wrapping bricks around? Uh, didn't do it myself. But I wasn't done. It's my excuse. Paint's still a bit wet. Don't overwork it. I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, there's a little bit of the color showing there. It uh, serves to blend. In fact, I'll probably be putting a little bit of a strip of red in there, blend it up. Seems like one of those cheat things that's just wrong, shouldn't be doing, but it actually works. <laughs> I outline things. Highly recommend it because it absolutely works for me. Again, it's one of those things, maybe as a painter, maybe you shouldn't do it, but Michelangelo did it. It's good enough for Michelangelo, it's good enough for me. If you know what you're doing for color, though, it doesn't really matter. You've got huge white chunks everywhere, driving you crazy, following you around metaphorically during your day think what is going to be reflected in there. If you kind of have an idea, you can work that out. You just, you come to know. It's one of those things you just get to a point and you know it and you don't have to worry about it ever again. So I know these are going to be kind of like bricky, so it's fine. Just going to the general sky blue because because if you go with anything else, you really have to make it deliberate. And you should also have it reflected in the world. And I didn't do that because it's already surreal enough at this point. Like it's apartment buildings attached to volcanoes in the ocean. No one really lives there. So you, at this point, you kind of want to make it realistic. So it looks kind of like it could be real because you've already gone the other way. And you've got the surreal touch already. You don't need to make the sky, though. The surreal highlight of your painting because you were going for surreal. Are you guys painting along? You should be doing that. I'll put a tree in if you all promise to paint along. Happy tree. Highlighting equals yellow, obviously. It's the only way to go. Just while we're here. Again, the whole competing shadow thing, which one is darker? It's always the one that's further away from the light uh, between buildings. Always going to be that one. We'll run some phthalo blue over that in a little bit. Make it pretty. That's probably going to be a brick, so it'll be like that. As for this, just separating. Which is black, mixed black, whatever's left of it. Fix the perspective on that too. It's going up a little bit over here. And that's fine, but it's not because we've created something implausible, so it kind of belittles us to make it look like it could be realistic. And that way, people will love you more, give you chocolates in the street. <laughs> See more of an angle, less of an angle. So where's that to be down there? Your, your vanishing point would be down there for that for this one. Be over here somewhere. Quite different. I do want to fix that. Let's fix this one. It seems like it needs the help. Seems more desperate for attention. Yeah, I'm just fixing that. Fix that too. Ah, uh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. If you can't really tell by looking, it's probably okay. But again, once we get the brickwork in there in a bit. And we'll know for sure. 
you also do need to step back. You don't really see artists doing that ever. Sitting back, very far back, staring longingly at the painting for hours, which is vital because you can't tell when you're this close. You're too close to it to see what exactly is going on. You can't tell if the perspective is working at this range. You got to move back. Just because shading is my thing. Little shadow from the jut out there. Keep doing it in purple. Okay, as I already talked about that a lot. It's purple. It's purple. Add some black into that later. Be lovely. So it's going to be red along there, It'd be purple. Purple might work better. Could be too much purple. It's a it's an add to taste thing. Do you like a lot of purple? You should probably add more purple. Do you not like purple? Yeah, we should probably probably have stopped adding purple a long time ago then. Because you've got a lot of purple in your painting. A bit of red, just red, over top of the purple slash black there. We're doing the little competing shadows things. If you're going to brush, brush in the direction of your surface. That way it encourages the eye to realize the surface is a diagonal in this case. More important with drawings, but it's still important with drawings. It makes it realistic. It's a thing you can do. It's a little thing. Just a little thing. Like you're painting something round. Paint circular motions. It actually helps. It's weird. It's strange, but it actually works. It's one of those things you don't think about. If you have something else on your mind, like not art. Just beefing up the contrast here. Don't mind me. You can do it too. You probably should. You've got a lot to catch up on, but you know, it's a good time. You can just rewatch this until you've caught up to this point, and then you, know, you can just work with it from there. Some overworking. Fix that because it'll bug me. It was. Now it stopped. All right. Side of that. Make sure you're putting your brushes in your mouth. Very important. So the perspective, like the windows are just, I don't know what the heck is happening there. It's just, it's wrong. It's going way over there, it's going way over there. So we're just going to fix that as we paint. Purpley menace of purple. Because that is kind of a purple. So this isn't technically me obsessing over purple right now. It's kind of weird. If you're doing purple, maybe add some yellow into it. Complementary color thing. If you add the complementary color of something, yellow, into purple, you get gray. But a nice gray, not a crappy, crappy, boring gray. You get a more colorful gray. If you do it you know, limitedly, don't go mad. Don't dump a tube in there. You'll regret it. So just graze that up a bit. You can also use raw umber. That really takes the color out of things. It doesn't change the tone, though. It's very nice for that. This changes tone. Changes tones, changes lives. The other nice thing about painting, unlike drawing, is you can keep going at it. And you can keep trying to fix the thing. It's more or less got the perspective, but if it's the same height as that, then it's clearly wrong. But it doesn't have to be. Maybe that window's about to get a little bit smaller. Just need to fix it to the point where you can where you can keep fixing it later. 
fill in. Don't even need to don't need to do anything to it. It's perfect now. It's absolutely perfect. I recommend never buying a mixed purple there. I don't know, they just never look out. In a bottle, mix your own. Tube? Tube. Don't buy a bottle of anything. And because it's a real surface in a real world, technically. Um, add A a bit more yellow, and B a bit more yet Naples yellow. In this case, yellow because you're trying to, well, give you some red in there too, that way. That was a bit excessive. You add that at the edge. It makes the edge real. It's because edges are never, edges are always the lightest part. Really, it should be that color right there, but I'm not doing that. <coughs> always make the edge of something light. That is a tip for realism. You want to make something realistic? Make the edges light. It's just a thing. Go and find an apple and light it. And you'll notice. You'll notice exactly what I'm talking about. Notice a wall. That wall. That one specifically. Light that wall properly. You will notice the edge of it. is lighter. It's a thing. Physics. I don't understand it necessarily. I just know how to render it. Just, I wish the windows were done. Because I left this so long, it's probably dry. So I can't blend it. But I have more. Yeah. Acrylic paint always dries darker. You have to compensate for that sometimes, if you want to. It's not quite right. It's a preview for, as I mentioned, for the windows little bit of a thing there. Put a little bit of a black stripe right down there. It'll um it'll look really good. It will, trust me. I did those ones. I mean aside from the glass bit itself, but it's really good. It's really good. If you say things enough, people just agree with you. Not on the internet, but in real life sometimes it'll just mess with the stop you. It's so a very dark, very distinct now. Kind of got that shadow there. Looks good. A little bit of line there. That's definition. Your definition of a boom bastard jam. Bastard jam? No, that's not what it was. I usually do it after. Do all the outlining at once, but I'm just going to do it now. Show off a little bit. It's right. A little bit of a dark line there. Add separation. You can do it with the color too, but also kind of blends a bit too, or in this case, undoes a blend. <coughs> pops it forward. That's what it really does. It pops it.
Pete, everything is realizing nothing is razor sharp, so everything should have a blend going around a corner, basically. Or, or something, a secondary color, like that. Because nothing is that sharp in real life. So even if you're doing a building at a 90, you want to have something in there to make it look like it's not razor sharp, because it isn't. You can just trust me on that. It's not. Nothing in life is. I don't know what the time is on this one right now, but I'm sure at this point Bob Ross would have a cabin somewhere. He would have talked about a squirrel. Not showing you the squirrel. It's not what a Netflix um, subscription gets you. You don't get to see the squirrel. You get to hear about the squirrel. Maybe a photograph. Yeah, he's not digging that squirrel out for you. But what he wouldn't have done is a plastered building. That is what he would not have done for you. Also, you never had to do layers. Did you notice that? One layer. It's just a crazy weird painting technique he used. All those things were primed, those canvases he used. He was painting into it. It was weird. It shouldn't be purple. It should be bluer. It's too much purple. There's a decent amount of blue in here. Here's the blue. So the perspective there is lovely. The perspective going back there is lovely. We'll fix it with a bit of outlining later though. Then it will be perfect. Windows, however, are not. And there, straightish, about the same, straight. It doesn't have to be exact, you're not an engineer. It's not an actual building, it's not going to fall down. If you can make it fall down in the painting, that's amazing. That's really more like a Harry Potter photograph. It's not overpainting here. Really, that's the best part of Harry Potter is the photographs, people moving around in them. It's awesome. We really should spend more time on that. It should have been a book. Harry Potter's Art Appreciation Year. He just goes on tours of wizard museums. Stares into paintings where the wizard has gone home for the week. He's gone on a vacation. They're just not there. He's just staring at it. It's empty. He doesn't even care. He's just appreciating like lilacs in the background. between the buildings. We went with blue for some reason. I just realized there's a lot of blue in this. Could be some blue up there too. Yeah, went with blue. It's a darkened blue or a muddy blue. So it's fine. Bob Ross ever give you a muddy sky? No, probably not. He should have though. Too happy. Letting it dry. 
So what are you doing right now? Cool. Is that your cat? It's behind you. It's a cat. It's a nice cat. Oh, okay. I have a guinea pig. It's over there. It does not care what I'm doing. You should definitely use your fingers to blend things. I mean, you bought the brush, but you've already got the fingers, so get your hands in there. Get dirty. Yeah. And then shadows. And we'll wrap this up because I don't know how long it's been, but I'm good. I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna turn the video off. You go and play with your cat, whoever's cat that is. keep the paint wet it fills in a lot of gaps for you getting the touch right takes a lot of practice though I'll explain how to do it in another upcoming video don't wait for that it's never gonna happen Never mix it up. Never ever. You get the impression from Bob Ross, you can really crank out a painting in 20 minutes. You really can't. You can crank out that, but. He's really doing the same painting. He's done the same painting like 96 times. Apparently he's literally did the same painting several times. So I want to watch them all. Here's a the thing. You weren't watching for that though. You were watching because of his very, very mellow voice. And that fro. I've taken it completely the opposite way. I'm doing paintings in 20 minute chunks and I have no hair. Maybe I'll bring out my guinea pig though next time. You can see that. Look forward to it. I'll just talk about the guinea pig actually in the next video and the video afterwards. I'll bring out the guinea pig. Just talk it up really big and then bring it out. You're like, he doesn't have a guinea pig. What are you talking about? I have guinea pigs in Canada. We do. They're not from here. He stole them. Yeah, so. Bit of a highlight. Right beside the black line. Just do it. Space magic. Just doing the windows because it really bugs me. There you have it. It's. How to fix perspective in one quick and easy video. Key is to just keep going over and over and over again until it's right. Or make sure your underdrawing is 100%. And then start.
Although, if I had, that wouldn't be there right now. And that's currently my favorite part. Except for that, that bit is awesome. Like it's violent. Mountains are violent. It was just there. I checked. It was really violent. With bears. That was a huge bear. Holy crap, that bear is big. Had a run in with a bear, Jasper. It was big. Large Volkswagen big. There we are. Live it, love it, art.